Welcome to Houston, Texas, home of the fourth biggest population in the United States. I'm Ed Cohen. We're the man of the people. He is Jay Williams. All right, Ed, I see you. New York, L.A., Chicago, Houston right there. I'll tell you what else is big. Rocket Nation, and they're ready to rumble. Taking over the globe and maybe taking over this game tonight. The opening tip won by the Rockets as we're underway in Houston. Irving. That's how you defend. Gordon with it. Looking to make something happen to Cousins. Nice pass to get things going. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. Kyrie with the rock. To Durant. Sizing up the defense. Durant against Gordon. Jordan. And scores. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul. But take it when you can get it. Harden in possession. He'll run the offense. Wall and a bad pass as it's taken away by the Nets. Pick up that sense of urgency. Here's a chance to break the tie. Working it outside. DeAndre Jordan up against John Wall. Durant to Jordan. Not that time. Another follow stays out. Harden to Wall. Nothing going here on that drive. And he's fouled. Very close. Free throws coming up. Hey, look, sometimes you need to feel out your opponent. Let him know you're there. I'm okay with that early foul. John Wall has got two shots coming for his career, 78% at the line. Knocks down the first. Goes two for two at the line. Here's Irving into the front court. They trail by two. Nothing going here on that drive. Cousins. Harden. His first effort off the mark. To Durant. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Rockets in control of the basketball. It's Wall. That's rebounded by Brooklyn. Durant. Oh, that's how it's done. Kevin Durant. Dynamic once again. And giving it to you any way you want it. On the block, from the perimeter, mouse in the house, whatever the scenario is, Kevin Durant has an answer. Gordon with it. Down three. Wall. There it is. John Wall. Missed his first. That one goes. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep.
Demarcus Cousins sends it away. That kid can block out the sun, man. Now ready with a couple of free throws. Guys like Gary Payton would always take ones early like this all the time. Number one, to see if they'll get caught. And number two, to leave a little mark on you to remind you that they'll be on you all game long. James Harden, a couple of free throws on the way. A career 85% free throw shooter. First one goes down. Two for two on that trip. Jay, 28 wins a year ago for the Nets, but a couple of individuals, they shined in their playing time. Eight wins better than the year before, and think about Jared Allen for this team. He is a new age five, has the versatility and the speed to run the court. And then you think about a guy like Spencer Dimwitty, who actually got drafted in the second round and actually gambled on himself, had a horrific knee injury. To see the kind of minutes due to the injuries that he played and the level that he played at, Ed, this team is on their way. To wall. Jared Allen, huge block. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Tough make through traffic. I was expecting the dish there, but way to fake that one and lay that one in. Kevin Durant with the rock. To Jordan. Probing the defense. Here comes the screen. Brooklyn with four to shoot. Gets a look. Can't hit. Wall in the front court. Leads a bucket. DeMarcus Cousins. Two for two. That's what you want. He's been doing this for years, the physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. To Durant. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. He made his first effort, but not that time. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. To P.J. Tucker. A oh, pass stolen by the Nets. Gets to the basket and scores. Big shout out to the athletic trainer for this team. It's obvious you've been doing all the preparation required of your team in the weight room in the offseason. Flex on them a little bit. in possession. The lead is two. Karis LeVert rejects it. Just erasing mistakes left and right. Durant matched up with Harden. To Dinwiddie. Knocked loose. Rockets have it. And finishes strong. You know, teams usually shoot higher percentages early in the shot clock. Plus, you take away the legs of the defense. You have to dictate the pace. Kevin Durant has it. To Dinwiddie. Here comes the screen. Yes, and a foul. No of a chance at a three-point play. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one.
Spencer Dinwiddie trying to cash in on the three-point play for his career 79% at the line. Free throws good to cement the three-point play. The lead is back down to one. Oh, too much contact. Free throws on the way. You see this all the time. The defensive player is establishing his presence on the court and also checking to see how far the refs are going to let him go. First try at the line, no good. Good recovery. Hits a second free throw. KD with the rock. Curling inside. Around the perimeter. Durant. Textbook defense. Into the front court comes Wall. Two-point advantage. From long range. That's off the side of the rim. No good. area won't go down yo big kudos to the defender it seems like his mere presence in the paint was enough to make the offensive player miss the shot before he even got off the ground missed a wide open look baseline drive the shot won't fall Gerald Green here comes the screen McLemore, tough matchup against Durant. John Wall goes to work. Wide open look, won't go. That's called a heat check right there. Surprised he missed that one. That was an open look. Durant, message received. Well defended. Shooter shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Here's Wall for two. And the rebound taken in by Jordan. Durant with the basketball up top. Down two to Jordan. Oh, scary stuff from DeAndre Jordan. First couple didn't go. That one is true. Come on, DJ. Give the people what they want. I want that for my screensaver. Houston with the basketball. Here we go. Here we go. Wall. Surveys the floor to P.J. Tucker. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. Threes and layups. That's what the Rockets do. They're not a team that settles for mid-range shots. And that's a good job of getting to the rim and racking it. Durant across the timeline. Down just a couple. Now a steal as the Rockets have it. So important to take care of the basketball. Easy two on the other end after the turnover. And if you're on defense on that last possession, no need to look over to the coach's bench, hold up your arms, wonder what did you do. Everybody got back. Everybody communicated. Everybody pointed. It was just better offense than there was defense. Durant with the basketball up top. Trailing by four. Rockets have the steal. Wall to P.J. Tucker. Finishing inside the paint on that one. There's some players out there that like the freedom of space, and then we have the anomalies. We have the players who feel comfortable being uncomfortable, and almost the physicality of the game centers them and puts them right on balance every time. Durant to Jordan. DeAndre Jordan, look out. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. Mo 
Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. DeAndre Jordan pins it. Sent a message on that one, Ed. It's Brooklyn's ball. Durant and drains it. And depending upon the personnel, the transition three-point pull-up shot is no longer the anomaly. It's the norm. Wall with it up top. Leads just a point. Kyrie Irving with the block. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. Kyrie, not that time. Just seems like there's lead in the feet of the defenders. You have to bounce quicker to the ball to deter that shot. To Wall. John Wall, not looking pretty. Three for ten. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. And he throws it down. Power play by DeAndre Jordan. I mean, with so much talk these days about three-point shooting and the spacing on the court and having versatile athletic wings, sometimes when you have a dominant big man, you keep giving him the ball. You let him be that anomaly. To Wall, throws it down. Jay, they've had no answer for this guy. He's been on fire this first quarter. That's the way you take it right to your opponent. You attack right out of the game. Nets have it. Irving. To Durant. Try to cash in. Missed it. Not much more you can ask for from the defense there. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. Nice swat that time. Just incredible timing on that swat. To P.J. Tucker. Drive from the baseline, but it won't go down. Durant across the timeline. They can go two for one if they hurry. Irving. The jumper's off the mark. And a bad pass as it's taken away by the Nets. Durant. Rebound taken by Wall. And scores. Great body control on the step through. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Time to shuffle things up. That misses with two seconds to go. So the Rockets with the lead after one at Toyota Center. Jay and I return to Houston after this. It's the NBA, and it's on EA Sports. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. Kyrie Irving controlling the offense. Takes stock of the floor. To Irving. Beyond the arc for three. And he's fouled. Good play by the shooter. You know what? That's an even better play by the defender. I like the foul there. Send a message. Nothing easy. He's going to have to earn it now. First one, count it.
second and three off the mark. Can't take advantage. One for three at the line. Into the front court. It's Wall. Up by six. Nothing going here on that drive. To Wall. A oh, pass stolen by the Nets. You go back to the principles. Things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade is called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively, you try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together, collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. The drive, right to the... Oh, 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 he just blocked that shot out of bounds. Okay, they're lucky they get the ball back. And a bad pass as it's taken away by the Nets. Almost unlucky bounce. Cousins. To Wall. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. There you go, finally. Shoot your shot. Irving knocks it down. That was a tough shot. Well, the defense has been good, but the shot-making ability has been better. And sometimes for NBA players at this level, the more you're in their face, the more it helps them center their focus on the target, which is making the shot. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's a real thing, Ed. Wall across the timeline. Leads five. Deep right corner. They've slowed down the pace. Now three on the shot clock. Has a chance. Round shot, no good. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Irving, over to the right side. A oh, bad pass as the Rockets come away with it. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. Tough mate through traffic. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. First free throw is good. Coming right back to you. So he hits the first, misses the second. Hard into the front court. Up six. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. So many times we get on the defender for quote-unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. James Harden at the line for a chance at a three-point play. Hasn't missed yet. Harden hits the free throw. It's a three-point play. The Rockets extend their lead. Irving with the basketball. Nine-point margin. Who's 
Tight space with the crossover. Screen coming. Big pick right there. Harden against the former Hoya. James Harden, 2 of 4 now. It just seems like one of three things happen every time James Harden has the ball. Either he scores, he gets fouled, or he kicks it out to someone for a three. Pick your poison. Converts in the paint. Nice finish at the rim. Jay, you've known Kyrie Irving since he was a young man growing up in New Jersey. He's overcome a lot of obstacles, chief among them staying healthy and on the floor. Yeah, Ed, he's been battling injuries since his freshman year of college. But the beautiful thing about Kyrie Irving is that he always loves the big stage. Making the game-winning shot in Game 7, he will continue to do so when he surrounds himself with great, inspiring leaders with the likes of such Kobe Bryant. Into the front court, it's Irving. Down a dozen. To Dinwiddie. Here comes the screen. The screen sets him up for two. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. James Harden at the controls. And a whistle. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. chance of a three-point play and I love the smile on the face of the offensive player sometimes luck is on your side I don't know how that shot went in but and one James Harden trying to cash in on the three-point play. He's perfect from the line so far. Free throw up and good as they open things up to a 13-point lead. Kevin Durant with the rock. Oh, highlight moves. Tough to do with the defender all over you. Here comes the screen. Harris against Harden. Irving to Durant. 4-3. Now that's a contest. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Gets it to go. Coach cannot be happy with that closeout. But it was how he created the shot. As a defender, there's a tendency to stand up when you stare at the ball. Offensive player recognized that, continuously moved without the ball. Bang, that's how he set it up. shooting 40% in this one. And he connects on the first free throw. Second free throw off the mark. Still one to come. To Cousins. Harden. Down to five on the 24. Harden. Rebound taken in by the Nets. Kyrie across the timeline. Trailing by 14. Knocked loose. Durant defended by Tucker. Right, right. 
Here's a chance from long range. Can't go down. Smothering defense. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. Learn from that. You got to be a step ahead of the offensive player. Know that fake is coming again later. Irving to Jordan. Nothing going here on that drive. Here comes the screen. Durant takes on Eric Gordon. Irving. Kyrie Irving is going to get three shots here. Shooting 50%. Some yes, some no in this contest. Oops. He missed the first one. down the second free throw. Misses the last one. One for three trip. Harden with it up top. His guy's up by 15. Short jumper won't fall. The most important thing a shooter can do is continue to shoot. The defense is always going to give great effort, but it's more of your psyche that goes into the next shot that will limit you on whether you make the shot or not. To Harden. To Irving. It was right there. Harden with the rebound. Harden with the basketball. The lead is 15. Whistled for the foul. Chance coming up at the free throw line. Smart play to rip through the extended arm of the defender. That will get you to the free throw line every time. Harden at the line for two shots. Hasn't missed yet. Misses the first. So he goes one for two from the line after hitting on the second. Irving to Jordan. DeAndre Jordan, look out. It's so amazing when you get a chance to see a player in his own space. It's almost as if the defense doesn't exist. He can go left, he can go right, he can attack. He's playing on that court by himself. Harden in possession. They lead it by 14. James Harden. With that, he's 5 for 9. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. Nothing going here on that drive. Here comes the screen. Knock loose. Rockets come up with it. Keep your foot on the gas, but don't get too reckless. To P.J. Tucker. That one out of bounds off a rocket. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. Dean Whitty against the former number one pick. Rebounded by Houston. 
Harden in possession. His guys holding the big lead. Jared Allen able to recover with the block. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Spencer Dinwiddie at the line for a chance at a three-point play. He's perfect from the line so far. Free throw up and good, and the lead's back down to 13. Wall into the front court. He'll run the offense. And throws it down. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. To Jordan. Can't slam it down. Kicks it outside. Fires the three. Oh, good offense, beating good defense. Just let me break down to all the young players at home how special of a pass this was. That was a perfect delivery, and it hit the player right in the chest. Harden has it up the floor. To Wall. Probing the defense to Harden. Cousins. DeMarcus Cousins. Three for three in this first half. Ooh, welcome to the new reality. Positionless basketball. Bigs are now PGs with the ability to drain threes. Dinwiddie with the basketball. Trailing by 15. Won't go. his man down for the basket the challenge defending a guy who can be a one or a two we're not old men talking about this game we don't define players by positions anymore is he a one or is he a two no he's James Harden he is a scorer and an elite passer Jared Allen against the five-time all-star and he's fouled couple of free throws coming up, Jay. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. Joe Harris has got two shots coming for his career 77% at the line. And hits the first free throw. back-to-back -back free throws here he missed the second Harden into the front court his guys hold a commanding lead and they call the foul Jay he was there too late and as a defender you cannot I repeat you cannot foul in the act of upward motion into your shot your timing needs to be better knocks down the first Free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. Oh, 
Dana Whitty against Harden. Finish that. To P.J. Tucker. Harden. To P.J. Tucker. Oh, emphatic slam. This is becoming a runaway. They're getting to the rim at will, probably because we're watching Matador defense. You probably want to get in the way of your defender if they keep trying to attack the rim. Let's it fly from long range. Knocks down the three-pointer. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. And now Houston has the basketball. Harden guarded by Green. Oh, pass stolen by the Nets. Cash is in for two. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Picked up by the Nets. Dinwiddie gets two. When one player goes down, or maybe in this case two, it gives a player an opportunity to really rise to the occasion. Well, that happened last year with Spencer Dinwiddie. When Jeremy Lin and D'Angelo Russell both went down to injury, this kid went from a D-League player to a starter in the NBA and one of the most clutch players we had for the Brooklyn Nets this past year. Harden with it up top. His team on top by 13. Dinwiddie into the front court. His guys can hold for the final shot. Now ready for a couple of free throws. Great job, Ed, by the shooter to create contact after the jump. That's how you get to the free throw line. Spencer Dinwiddie, couple of free throws on the way. Hasn't missed yet. First try, no good. This is the second as well. For three, buries it on the catch and shoot. It's all about creating space with the dribble. Once you have that gap, you can beat somebody in a variety of ways. He chose a dagger with the three. The screen sets him up for two. Long key from three-quarters court. That's it. First half has come to an end. The Rockets way out in front. I'm Jalen Rose, and this is your EA Sports Halftime Report. The Rockets put together a nice half and were rewarded with a solid lead. Clearly, the number of three-pointers these guys scored in the first half was incredible. And if they can keep that up, it's going to be tough to keep that team down.
Have a look at the leading scores for the Houston Rockets. These are the guys getting buckets for the Brooklyn Nets. Game track. Assists. The Brooklyn Nets struggled to play the angle and allowed too many passing lanes to exist. However, some credit has to go to their opponents for the way they move the ball. They've been taking advantage of the situation. Player of the half. James Hart has the defense figured out and his shots are falling for him. That's a lethal combination that will be hard to overcome. Who was cold? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete, but even the best players have off nights. Today has just been one of those nights for this guy. Here's our top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one.